Okay, good morning everyone, this is Andrew, and today I'm, I'll be the presenter, the, uh, to be the first presenter, and my topic is the effects of the total physical response by storytelling and the uh, traditional teaching style of the foreign language at school. Florida, a little bit. Okay. And, uh, and this study is, uh, is presented, uh, it's studied by the uh, <coughs> and, uh, and the paper with uh, it was presented at the uh, annual conference of the Miss South Education Research Association uh, in the Tennessee. Okay, and my contents include uh, six parts of uh, the uh, purpose, literature review, methodology and procedures, results and discussion, and conclusion of also, uh, and also my reflections at the last. And the purpose of this study is to extend the effects of the uh, total physical response by storytelling. We focus on storytelling and the traditional teaching style of foreign language in the subject of school. I hope you can understand this, how these two styles of the, of the teaching is different. And in the liter literature review, we can see the primary states of the theory of multiple uh, intelligence creation. He believe that the concept of intelligence should be viewed from different perspectives other than only intelligence uh, quotient means. Uh, it means uh, people we have many different uh, intelligence intelligence not only uh, on the IQ right? mm -hmm. <coughs> and the theory of multiple intelligence based on the uh, question okay. in intelligence function the only concept of intelligence and uh, my answer is actually no yeah positive because it will form the theory of multiple intelligences and in the theory are seven main intelligences uh, like uh, our body motions and our in, uh, interpersonal personal and our visual space and these ways are all people's perceptions of the environment and next comes the first is the linguistic intelligence it's like uh, it starts at the uh, infancy period our child, childhood uh, uh, it's called infancy babble and what is infancy babble it's not like a uh, uh, a child he says uh, first the first word maybe is daddy, uh, dara or mama, right? And then when they grow up, um, their their sentence will be more compl compl uh, yeah. will be more complicated. Like uh, uh, when I get up and uh, and I'm no one to go to sleep, right? More and more. So this is happens in our real life. So on uh, issues of learning at various edges, because it's very different. I want you all to keep this in your mind because it's very natural teaching way you can see we did, uh, we have two groups of the edges from uh, 5 to, to 11 and the other one is edges from uh, over 11 and the first uh, first issues are uh, the first one is questioning which one will question more uh, grammar issues to use this is the negative, negative part and your answer may be yes it's over 11 and which uh, which group will focus on the, the fluency of conversation do you think I think the answer would be, sorry. Do you agree? And then let's then it is sorry. The earlier to touch through is of the foreign language, the, the harder to learn. Do you think so? Okay. And Why which I mean, yeah. uh, finally, uh, which one would be uh, carefree and not worried to make mistakes? Do you think? The one go to of course one, right? Okay. I want to keep it or uh, actually keep it in your mind. Very much attention. And this is a review we will have a lot. So we'll, here comes a strategy for teaching real life applications. That is called the total physical response by storytelling, uh, stated by uh, Laurent in 2006. And uh, actually, the TBS includes two parts, not just on one. Because the first part is TBF, TB, TBR, and the next one is storytelling. And TBR was developed in the 1960s. And <coughs> and the TBR and storytelling was created in the 1980s and the 1990s. I hope you took that concept. And next, the TBR is what can TBRs do? You can create a, a stress free learning style just like a case learning style is very natural, they don't have the, have the press. And then it's also a method to uh, let the uh, learners to, to learn the concept skills and get to understand the target language. And it also is a very natural conversation because conversation it happens you can use it in your everyday life of by 
any people of any age but to express, express themselves. And the roles of the teacher in the class, <coughs> you have to be very excited and positive to teach uh, students uh, like uh, taking vocabulary because when you are teaching vocabulary, you have to be uh, with the students as a whole to uh, create the gestures or motions based on uh, according to the uh, related to the vocabulary. And when you learn the words, teacher will, will ask the personalized questions based on based on the gestures and motions, all right, to keep students concentrated. And then the last part and the most important is the mini story, the mini story telling. Right? It, it will be dramatized by the teacher and the B at the of the students. Okay? And this circle will keep students and teachers also be excited and positive. And also the students is, is as well, just like teachers, because they have to pay attention and participate in this, this, uh, the class discussions, and then they have to be remain their tools on the teachers, but because the teacher will respond uh, anytime or you or else we have to respond very quickly. And then they will uh, uh, they will have the tendency for word pronunciation and word association, which I have to create the uh, gestures and motions, right? And then the most important, yeah, is being creative in the process of telling stories. Okay. And the roles of the teachers and students in the Chinese the foreign language, you know, uh, always focus on the four skills, right? Okay, uh, hearing, speaking, writing, listening, uh, learning the accent from the teacher tag and uh, speaking, speaking to read really aloud and and practice the pronunciation, only that, all right, and reading sentences along with the teacher's questions. And the rest part of the practice is not just right skill, so it's very one way teaching. It's a trio. And methodology and procedures, we will have 30 students relatively selected from a total 60 students in the Spanish classroom, class one. Mm -hmm. And we will also remain uh, to maintain the uh, permission from all the uh, 30 participants. It, it has to be. And then randomly divided into two groups, control group and the experimental group. And the, in the experimental group, over 15 students plot using TBRS with one unit. Okay. And, uh, and the other 15 students were using the traditional method with a unit, including vocabulary okay, and uh, grammar. And then this course will last for one week. Wow. Okay. And at the last, we have a test that contain, containing matching the back of the words and the translation of sentences. So we get the day time to do the data analysis. Okay. All right. And the result, we will have to research questions. Uh, one is if there are differences between test scores and students taught using TBRS and using the traditional methods. <coughs> uh, and the answer is yes, because you see the p-value is less than 0 0.5. 0 or uh, 0.05. Okay, so the results show the significant difference between the test scores. And also we have the last and the second, uh, also the second uh, research question. So it's built a difference between the vocabulary test scores for students when they are uh, taught using TBRS and traditional methods. And the answer also, uh, is answer well again, right, is the last of the three test and 0.05. So the results indicate a significant difference. And in conclusion, uh, this literature review shared both the effects of the uh, uh, TBRIs and TDS in foreign languages in this high school. Just, but the effects are different, you can see that. And my reflection is the treatment TBRS. And what do you think about that? The only factor that affect the result of the study. Uh, so according to, that, according to that, I will have four questions. In sample, how do they sample the students? And next is the student's expectation. Uh, because they are, they are asked to volunteer to join the, 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 uh, the, the test, right? the study. So maybe they originally have the high expect, expect of the test. But on the other side, how about the uh, relaxing <coughs> students? If we pull them into the, into the study, what is the result? Would it be different? And next is the question there, because what we see uh, in, in the study, it says uh, students have the higher, have the higher uh, motivation, motivation, but we cannot tell because they uh, they do not have any questionnaire. Mm -hmm. And the last one is the treatment directed just one week. Do you think it's long enough? Mm -hmm. So this is my uh, presentation. How do you look at it? Uh, what is that? Questions.